Still in the news, as part of the United Nations 16 days of activism against all forms of violence against women, the federal government plans to upscale its advocacy strategy with its partners to ensure women and girls are integrated into President Mahmoud Buhari's next level agenda. The Minister of Women Affairs, Pauline Talon, made this known in Abuja as she assured newsmen of the federal government's commitment to protecting victims of violence and rape. Also present at the United Nations Deputy Secretary General, Amina Mohammed, expressed worry at the number of women and girls who were victims of rape on a daily basis. This year's theme for 16 days of activism, Generation Equality Stands Against Rape, calls for all of us to collectively spotlight the pervasiveness of rape and other forms of sexual violence in our societies and to take urgent action to stop these crimes. Globally, governments have committed and recommitted to ending all forms of violence against women and girls, including sexual violence. Yet, around the world, rape and sexual abuse, everyday violence occurs, affecting hundreds of millions of women and girls over their lifetime. And now it is time to renew these efforts to put an end to this scourge. The 2019 commemoration team arranged the world Generation equality stands against rape. It's very apt and it speaks to issues of rape, which is assuming an alarming and unacceptable dimension in our society. The orange color has been adopted globally due to, the, uh, to what it represents in nature. The color orange combines red and yellow to give the alluring look, which is said to represent emotional strength in difficult and the in difficult times help those who are downcast to bounce back from disappointments and despair. In 16 days, the government of Nigeria, development partners, civil society organizations, and courageous individuals and women-led organizations will commemorate the 16 days of activism. And I'm delighted that we have a full itinerary of local, national, international activities in place. I urge all of us to get behind these efforts to achieve our collective goal and to amplify the message that we are all, that in Nigeria, we are all going to promote um, uh, an end to violence against women and stand against rape and all forms of violence against women. I'm very excited today. After this program, we're going to be launching the, um, the sexual offenders register. All those rapists, pedophiles, people who think they can rape and get away with rape, they are going to put them in the register. The register will be made available to everybody. Their faces, their names, their alliances, whatever they call themselves, are going to be up there for the whole world to see. Perpetrators are always those who are the aggressors and they have the financial muscle to try to cover up issues. So I'm glad we are launching that um, register today and I'm glad to be part of this program. Whatever legislation that needs to be put in place, we are doing our best. We know that the Police Act has a lot of discrimination against women, which we already started um, repealing in the, in the Senate. We, um, the, the sexual, the one for the universities too, we are working on that. There are so many other laws that are discriminatory against women that encourage violence against women. That's how.